medical examination but somehow fails. I scored Tennispia in my fifth semester and would like to share some secret with you. First of all, you need to understand the grading system. So let's understand the grading system. First of all, in each semester you will be having 5 to 6 subjects. Each subject will have its own credit. Here the trick is that you have to perform well in the subjects having high credit. Uh, for example, if you scored 60 marks in the subject having 3 credits and you scored 30 marks in the subjects having 6 credits, the weight will be equal. Wow, yeah. Now for each subject, depending upon your performance, you will be getting the grade. The grades will range from A to F. If you get A grade, then you will get 10 grade points. Similarly, for A, B, 9 grade points. For B, B, you will get 8 grade points. For B, C, you will get 7 grade points. For C, C, you will get 6 grade points. For C, D, you will get 5 grade points. For D, D, you will get 4 grade points. And for F, M, X counts as a 3 grade. Now, let us understand this back example. Suppose you score a uh, double A grade in subject 1, then you will get 10 grade points. Similarly, if you score A, B in subject 2, then you will get 9 grade points. Similarly, in subject 3, if you get A, A, B grade, then you will get 9 grade points. In subject 4, A, A, then you will get 10 grade points. And in subject 5, you get A, A, then you get 10 grade points. Now, all the grade points which you obtain in each subject is multiplied by the credit of that subject. So, let us see. For subject 1, you get, you got 60, and you got 10 grade points, multiply by its credit, then it's 6, then you will get 60 credit points for subject 1. Similarly, for subject 2, you have to multiply 9, multiply by 5 credit points of that subject, is equal to 45 credit points. Similarly, for subject 3, 9 multiplied by 6 is equal to 54 credit points. For subject 4, the subject, subject credit is 7 and you obtain 10 grade points, then is equal to 70 credit points. And for subject 5, 10 grade points for double A multiplied by 6, uh, 6 credit is equal to 6. So you will get 60 credit points. So the total you obtain credit, total you obtain is 289 credit points. Now you have to divide 289 credit points by 30. So finally you will get 9.63 SPI. Now how to score 10 SPI? If you need to, if you want to score 10 SPI, then you need to score, we need to have double A grade in all the subjects. Each subject consists of 150 marks in total. That includes 70 marks of final examinations of GDU, 30 marks of internal mixer examination, 20 marks of internal viva or you can say internal examination, and 30 marks for external viva or external practical examination. And if you want to have double A grade in that subject, you need to score of how of 127 plus marks out of 150 marks. If you lie between the average or range which I say, you can easily score that on double A grade. If you score 24 to 26 marks in mid sem and 58 to 62 marks in GTU examination and 8, around 18 marks in internal examination and around 25 in external viva examination, then you can easily get 127 plus marks and you can easily conquer A grade. And for the people, for those people who wants who has a target of A B grade, then you need to have 114 plus marks out of 150 marks. Some general points to consider while preparation. First, you need to refer the previous year question paper. Most of the questions asked are repeated. Second, you need to refer your task. Third, you need to write in a legible. And readable Fourth, you need to only memorize, sometimes only memorize a diagram and draw it properly with 